Hey guys, welcome back to Lish's Pet Lights. Today I'm going to show you how to properly set up a beta fish tank. I know there are many, many sources and videos out there that show you how to do this exact same thing, but sometimes the vocabulary can be a little bit too difficult for the beginner fish owner to understand. And I speak from experience because three years ago when I was 12, I had absolutely no idea what many words meant, such as ammonia, cycling, beneficial bacteria, etc. So I want to make this video very straightforward and easy for the beginner beta fish owner to understand. Starting off, you will obviously be needing a tank for your beta. People even suggest 5 gallons or 10 gallons, but bigger is always better when keeping beta fish or just fish keeping in general. You always want to have as much space as possible and beta fish really use that space to their potential. Alright, now that we've got tank size out of the way, let's begin with the actual video. How to set up a beta fish tank properly. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the correct aquarium. Um, I also did make a whole beta fish checklist video and it's on this channel. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Then you will have to pick a surface to put your tank on. Make sure it's stable and away from direct sunlight. This is because the sunlight can increase your tank's water temperatures and when the sun goes down it can decrease. And your beta fish doesn't really like that much change in the water. The water should be between 22 to 27 degrees Celsius, aka 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun can also allow algae to grow in your tank, and yes, a bit of algae is okay, but this algae grows super fast and is difficult to remove. I actually had an experience with this algae, and it was pretty bad. Now, this next part is completely optional, but if you want to, you could add a background to your tank. I think it gives a really cool look, and I actually made mine myself. I made it about a year ago with some excess paint. I just poured it onto a bristle board and made an abstract piece. Um, pet stores also sell this, so you could either make yours yourself or you could buy it from a pet store. When you do this, just make sure your background is facing the front of your tank. Okay, once you've put your aquarium in place, you're going to want to fill it up with substrate. You could either use sand or gravel. I'm using this natural gravel here by Marina. If your substrate is brand new, you're going to want to rinse it out because there is dust and dirt in it. Now you could either add water to the bag and rinse it out or you could pour your substrate into a container like I did. Now you're going to want to rinse it out about 10 times. I did it 8 to 9 times. You're going to want to do this until your water is crystal clear when you pour it out, as you can see right here. Then you're just going to add the gravel to your tank. You are obviously going to want to add water into your fish tank, and I just use this container and transport the water to the aquarium. And again, you're just going to pour the water into your tank. Next, I'm flattening the gravel in the tank like so. Now, there are many things you could put in a beta fish tank as decor, and I'm just going to say make sure whatever you use is soft and is not too rough or sharp to hurt your beta's fins because they are very delicate and can tear easily. Once you've picked your decoration, make sure to rinse it out thoroughly with no soap. And finally, I'm placing the decoration inside the tank. Now, obviously, you can make adjustments as you go, and you could also add live plants in this. I just don't have any live plants at the moment in this tank. You're going to want to add some dechlorinator in your tank now if you have used tap water. I use tap water, so this makes it safe for beta fish to swim in. And also, make sure to add the correct dosage. Each bottle has a different one. Next, we're going to add a filter to your beta fish tank. I think it's crucial to have one in your tank to allow them to live the best life possible. When it comes to filters, you want to pick something that doesn't have too much of a fast flow because beta fish don't like to swim against fast flow. I'm using the filter that came with my top fin tank and I think it works really well for this case. I have attached the filter to my tank and now I'm going to add a filter cartridge. The filter cartridge is basically just a little pouch 
that sits in your filter and collects all the beneficial bacteria. Again, beneficial bacteria is really important in your fish tank, and this is good bacteria that helps your fish survive. All right, so where does beneficial bacteria come from? How does it work? Let me explain. Beneficial bacteria is good bacteria that lives on surfaces of your tank, including gravel, plants, decor, the walls, as well as the filter, which is why there's a cartridge in the filter to collect the bacteria. When fish waste is left in a tank, it produces ammonia. Ammonia comes from fish waste and is not good for your fish. The beneficial bacteria breaks down the ammonia, which is why it's a benefit to your tank. The ammonia can actually take over your tank at some point and kill your fish, which is why we want to get rid of it. This good bacteria can be grown by feeding your fishless tank at least three times a week with fish food. You can also use a filter cartridge from another aquarium of yours or even a friend's. That's what I'm doing in this case. And I will be doing a video on the whole ammonia and beneficial bacteria topic sometime later, just not now. The final things you might want to add to your tank are a thermometer and a heater. I don't have a thermometer to show you guys. I do have a heater though. Make sure you have one if your water is less than 22 to 27 degrees Celsius, aka 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. When adding a beta to a tank, you want to make sure that the temperature of their cup water and tank water is the same. So you're going to acclimate them and this means you just float them in the water until the temperature matches. You're going to do this for about half an hour to an hour, just until the temperature seems to be the same. Once you've acclimated your fish, you can finally release them and enjoy your beta. I really wanted to make it easy for the beginner beta owner to understand because I was in the same situation and didn't know what many words meant. So I hope we did a good job of explaining them fully. One more thing, if you're not already subscribed, it would mean the world to me if you did and liked the video. Thank you so much for all your support. Bye guys!